Welcome to another edition of Periscope, where we discuss the advantages of owning and growing your business in the city of Paris, California. I'm Jeff Allen, and on this segment, we're profiling a Paris-based company that's all about having a good time, Action Star Games Paintball Park. And to do that, I'm joined by the owners of Action Star Games, the husband and wife team of Wayne and Karen Woodruff. Wayne and Karen, welcome. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Let's talk a, a little bit about paintball, what it's like to own a business, and let's talk a little bit about exactly what it is, not as if we've, we've never heard of it before, but not everybody has, has played paintball before. I certainly have it. But tell us about your business. Uh, I mean, basically how it started up to now and, and just all the details you can give us kind of in a, in a short summary. Now, Action Star Games is actually a, a family business where we, we promote kids to come with their families. And we treat them like family at Action Star. And the way we started, we went to another field. Karen, this is back in 2008 or 2005. Mm -hmm. And we were a little disturbed by the, the security of the field, um, how the people were being intimidated. We left the field. Uh, on the way home, my son and I and Karen sat there and we were talking about how it would be nice to have a secured place to play paintball. We had 10 acres at the time, so we opened up a uh, field strictly for the kids, our kids. Our team, I think it was 12, wasn't it? 10 kids, mm -hmm. 10 kids. Um, we, we built it in a 110 degree weather on a day that almost killed three of us, <laughs> but we got it done so that yeah. the kids could play the next weekend. Um, at that point, they, we were playing on behind tires and bunkers that we built. Uh, at that point, we uh, got a little bit more sophisticated and got inflatable bunkers for the kids. It was called speedball. Uh, after about three months of training, we started getting other teams that wanted to come play. I was against that because I wanted to protect our kids. But then we realized that they all wanted the same thing. So we kind of fast forward a little bit. You were inspired because you visited another facility, but you didn't like really the situation. It wasn't a particularly safe place to play, or at least in your eyes, it wasn't a safe place to play. And you probably wouldn't have left your kids there alone to play themselves. So you decided to go ahead and do your own thing, 110 degree heat, and it's just oppressive conditions, but you got it up and you were playing on your own course the next week. And then we kind of fast forward some more and you've outgrown the place. How long ago was this and in what kind of considerations did you have to make? Started around 2005. Uh, we all grew it around 2008. Uh, we moved to Colton at that time. Karen told me an interesting story as we kind of chatted on the phone before doing this uh, shoot today here in studio. You told me an interesting story about how people reacted and responded to Action Star closing that location in Colton. I mean, there was some there were some emotions involved there, weren't there? In March of this year, we found out we had to move. We found out that the property was going to be sold. And we were given a deadline of April. And I posted a video online thanking all of our players for being a part of Action Star Games and ASG family. The kids started calling us ASG family, and so that's the name of our Facebook page. The day that I announced it and posted that video, the phone started ringing, people started crying, and our Facebook page just went crazy. It blew up. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Amazing. I decided to walk around the park to ask people, because I didn't know. I, we didn't know we meant that much to the, to the players. I walked around the park with a video and dads told us that their affiliation with us helped them keep their family together, helped them strengthen their relationship with their son. I had a few people tell us that it helped them stay away from drugs and other things we don't want our kids involved with. And I was really surprised that people felt what we had set out to do, which was create a safe haven for families. So here we are present day and things are obviously looking pretty good because you have in fact you've landed in Paris, California and you have a new paintball park uh, facility there and it obviously it seems to be very very popular indeed and I'm going to let you kind of tell, tell us a little bit more about it but when you knew 
that um, you know you'd closed down and you were looking for a new home. How did the whole situation with Paris come about? Wayne, I'll let you go ahead and start with that. We had an associate of mine that told me about Paris. He told me about Mark Yarbrough. We contacted Mark. Mark then uh, said that he was not a councilman at that time, that we should contact Mike Dermott. We contacted Mike Dermott, and Mike was, uh, said, yes, this would be a, a good fit for Paris. We then, Karen then joined the Chamber of Commerce and contact Cindy. Yeah, it was Cindy Espinosa from the Chamber. And uh, they also got excited about the uh, paintball field. We then uh, drove around the area. Uh, <laughs> we spent a couple days driving around the area, and we found uh, several names of realtors that had properties up for sale or lease. We call, uh, out of the uh, several that we called, there was one that responded very quickly to us, and that was uh, Al Landers. And Al became a great help. He's a uh, prior mayor of uh, Paris. He, uh, he got all enthused about it, and uh, within, what, three weeks, mm -hmm. he had several pieces of properties for us to look at. Tell us about you know, getting then in and opening your business. How long did it take and um, uh, how easy was it to work with the city in order to kind of get everything done and in, in your project moving along so that you could open your business quickly? The planning department and the city uh, council members and the uh, and mayor. city mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, mayor Bush was the great help. He, he was uh, very positive. Um, whenever we had a problem, we would talk to him and then him and Mike, um, they helped us very much. I mean, they were right on top of it the whole time. We would, if we got into a stall where, where the paperwork was hard or we couldn't quite understand what they wanted, uh, they would take care of it right away for us. So as far as a working ship with, with the mayor and Richard and Mike Dermott, it was great. So let's talk about then, uh, Karen, having moved from Colton and then you were down for about seven months and then you opened uh, uh, back up in the city of Paris, your brand new location. How have things been going? Things are going great. Our people are finding us. The people are following us back. We have at least 60% of our, our loyal customers. You get a thrill from paintball that you don't get any from, from any other sport. It's, well, it certainly has helped you to bring people together, and it's helped you, too, it sounds like to me, to heal lives and households and relationships in some cases, and to keep, obviously, to keep uh, young people out of trouble, mm -hmm. uh, to keep them doing something, and to, to form bonds maybe with other young people, too. And, uh, I mean, too, you get the sense, I get the sense, too, that being where you are in a community, too, where they encourage business development they welcome new businesses and they were so happy to have you that it just allows you two to relax and simply run your business and grow your business the way that you want to is that right i mean am i correct in that we searched a lot of cities in the surrounding areas and uh, we found properties that we could have leased or purchased but we got the welcome from paris and that was the, what we were looking for. We were looking for people that wanted us and wanted to, to have the excitement around them and have the people come to us. And Paris was the place. It's a perfect fit for us. We approached one city um, about a piece of property that we were looking at and they were going to make us do a $200,000 biology study before they would even approve us. They made it impossible financially at the other places to, to actually open a business, where Paris actually gave us options to, to make it happen. You made an interesting comment to me uh, before we walked into the studio, Wayne, about just how popular paintball is with respect to how people have responded to you and not just from the local area. Tell us a little story that you had that you just kind of relayed to me back a little earlier. We've had people come from other countries to play speedball, which is one of our fields that we have at uh, ASG. Uh, we've had them come from France. We've had them come from Hawaii. Tahiti. Tahiti. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. The Tahiti ones were real fun people. 
Um, we've had them from uh, Mexico, Canada. Las uh, Vegas. And Las Vegas, of course. But we also get a, a good variety of people from L.A., Orange County, uh, San Diego. And now that we're closer to San Diego, we're seeing more people come from San Diego to this area. To what do you attribute your success of being able to reach out to people who aren't necessarily local, but they find out about you, they want to come out here and, and play where you guys are out here at ASG? Because the environment, because they feel, they call us ASG family and they feel welcome. I've been to told by some of the people that there's a vibe there that you don't get anywhere else. So the fact that you've got people from Orange County and LA and San Diego coming out to see you suggests to me that there's kind of an advantage to being where you are, which is you're, you're kind of centrally located. I mean, do you find that that's true? We've, we were a little scared at first to come to Paris because we thought we were going to be too far away from our clientele. But we found that the clientele is following us here to Paris. And it was a great decision because of the uh, location, the freeway access, the, uh, the ability to get here within, uh, from San Diego, they're only 45 minutes away from us. Uh, from Corona, they're only uh, 20 minutes away from us. So the location is great. And LA people are coming out, even though it takes them a little bit longer, they are still coming out and having a great time. What I would be interested, though, in, in knowing is a little bit about what this park is like. I mean, it's big from what I understand, but give us kind of a glimpse. Describe for us what this park is like and what people will find when they get there. Right now, the paintball side has uh, eight fields of different uh, variety of fields so that you're not playing the same old thing. But we also have an airsoft park, which has uh, four fields, and we keep them separate. We don't have paintball and airsoft in the same fields. The reason for that, the airsoft people like to have their uh, a little different equipment. They don't like to have the paint on their clothing, so we keep them separated. The park will grow. We're At this time, we still have eight acres to, to build off of. We were, are going to have 12 fields probably by midsummer in the park for paintball. And then we will expand out to the back side, which we have another six acres at the back. For those people who may be looking at this video and they're interested in finding out more about you and they want to come out and play, how can they get in touch with you? They can call us, which would be 909-793-6743. That's a direct connection to us. Or you can reach us at actionstargames.com. And that will uh, get you all the information you need to know you can look up the prices, uh, and we do have private parties during the week. If you have 12 people or more, you can have a set up a private party. Well, Wayne, I want to thank you so much. Karen, thank you, too. We appreciate having you. It's really been fun talking with you about uh, Action Star Games and all the success that you found so far in the city of Paris. Thanks again. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That'll wrap up this edition of Periscope. We hope you enjoyed our chat with Karen and Wayne Woodruff of Action Star Games. If you'd like more information about the advantages of starting, expanding, or relocating your business here, we invite you to contact the Economic Development Department at City Hall by calling 951-943-6100. That's 951-943-6100. Or you can visit the city's website at cityofparis.org. For Periscope, I'm Jeff Allen. Thanks for watching.